Greetings, friends. I'm speaking to you from Oxford, England, where I'm attending the Oxford Institute on Methodist Theological Studies. And right now, I am at Christ Church College. Some of you will know it as the place where Harry Potter had many film sites, but others will know that this is a very important site for We United Methodists. For this is where John and Charles Wesley both went to college. And in fact, this is where the Methodist movement started. As you celebrate your anniversary, I am thinking about the lessons John and Charles could offer all of us. The Methodist movement began as a small class meeting where people held themselves in mutual accountability, considering ways they can grow in their love of God and neighbor. But neighbor didn't stop just with the person they were sitting next to in class. It meant going out into the Oxford community, caring for the prisoners, caring for the sick, caring for the homeless, caring for people who might never ever be in their class meeting. 150 years ago, people got together and made a commitment not only to one another as they built Castle Rock United Methodist Church or formed Castle Rock United Methodist Church, but it was also a commitment to those outside the walls of the church. And that's what has always made United Methodism so compelling. We don't just think and pray and talk about theological things we are to put it in action. That is a mark of our faith. So I'm praying for you. I hope you have a joyous celebration, but I'm going to challenge you. What is it that God is calling you to do to increase your love of God and neighbor that takes you out of your church building and into the community to care for those the world overlooks? This is what will make you so inviting to others. This will what will ensure that Castle Rock will be around for another 150 years. So God bless you all. I hope you have a joyous celebration and may blessings abound in the coming weeks, months, and years as you share the love of God with others. God bless you all.